what's up everybody and welcome back to Travel Hub Africa. Today we're diving deep into the heart of Southern Africa to a country that's small in size but huge on culture, history, and natural beauty. We're talking about the Kingdom of Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland. Get ready to explore breathtaking landscapes from rolling hills and lush valleys to bustling cities and traditional villages. Stick around because we're about to break down the top 10 must-visit cities in Eswatini. Let's go! First up, we're heading straight to the capital city, Mimbabane. Nestled in the Mzimba Mountains, the scenery is just off the charts. We're talking lush green hills, stunning waterfalls, and panoramic views. But Mimbabane isn't just a pretty face. This city is the beating heart of Swazi culture. You'll find traditional crafts, bustling markets, and historical landmarks around every corner. Make sure to check out the Swazi National Museum, a journey through the history and heritage of the Swazi people. No trip to Mbabane is complete without a visit to the Mbabane market. Imagine vibrant fabrics, intricate beadwork, and handcrafted wooden sculptures. The city also boasts a lively nightlife scene, with a range of restaurants, bars, and clubs to keep you entertained after the sun goes down. So whether you're a history buff, a culture vulture, or just looking for a good time, Mbabane has something for everyone. Next up, we're rolling into Manzini, Swaziland's largest city and its commercial hub. Manzini is a melting pot of cultures, a place where tradition meets modernity head on. One of the biggest draws of Manzini is its incredible markets. The Manzini market is a must visit. It's a labyrinth of stalls selling everything from fresh produce and spices to traditional medicines and handmade crafts. The city is also home to some beautiful colonial architecture, a testament to its rich history. Take a stroll down Nwani Street, the main thoroughfare, and soak in the atmosphere. And speaking of culture, make sure to check out the Mantenga Cultural Village just outside Manzini. Here, you can experience traditional Swazi life firsthand, from the beehive-shaped huts to the energetic Swazi dancing. So whether you're a shopaholic, a history buff, or just looking to soak up some local vibes, Manzini has got you covered. Get ready to step into a real-life fairy tale because we're heading to Lobamba, the royal and legislative capital of Eswatini. Lobamba is home to the royal family, and you can actually visit the impressive Lazitha Palace, the official residence of the king. It's a symbol of Swazi monarchy and a reminder of the country's rich cultural heritage. Lobamba is also a spiritual center for the Swazi people. You'll find the impressive parliament building here, as well as the royal crawl, the traditional meeting place of the nation. If you're lucky enough to be in Lubamba during one of the traditional ceremonies, like the Umlanga Reed Dance or the Inkwala Ceremony, you're in for a real treat. These events are a riot of color, music, and dance, a chance to witness Swazi culture at its most vibrant and captivating. Take a walk through the National Museum, visit the King Sabuza II Memorial, or simply soak in the atmosphere of this unique and historic town. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter paradise. We're talking about the Ezelwini Valley, known as the Valley of Heaven. Imagine rolling hills blanketed in lush greenery, sparkling rivers winding through valleys, and breathtaking views that seem to stretch on forever. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, this place is your jam. We're talking about hiking trails that wind through forests and up mountains, horseback riding adventures, and some of the best bird watching in Southern Africa. Ezelwini Valley is also home to some of Swaziland's most luxurious resorts and lodges. And hey, don't forget about the wildlife. Head to the Malilwane Wildlife Sanctuary, where you can spot zebras, giraffes, wildebeest, and even some rhinos. It's an animal lover's dream. So whether you're an adrenaline junkie, a nature lover, or just looking to relax and recharge in a stunning setting, Ezelwini Valley is calling your name. Get ready to unleash your inner artist because we're heading to Malkerns, the arts and crafts hub of Eswatini. This charming town is a haven for creativity, with galleries, studios, and workshops popping up like wildflowers. One of the must visits in Malkerns is the Swazi Candles Craft Market. We're talking about intricately carved candles in every shape and size imaginable. The town is also known for its glass blowing studios where you can watch molten glass transform into delicate works of art. Check out Nguenya Glass, one of the most famous studios, and prepare to be mesmerized. And if you're looking for something truly unique, head to the Gone Rural Workshop, which empowers rural Swazi women by providing them with skills and training in weaving. 
The town also has a thriving live music scene with regular performances by local and international artists. Lace up your hiking boots and grab your sense of adventure because we're heading to Pig's Peak, a haven for nature lovers and thrill seekers alike. This mountainous region in northern Eswatini is known for its stunning scenery, challenging hiking trails, and hidden waterfalls just waiting to be discovered. The star of the show here is undoubtedly the Pig's Peak itself. Hiking to the summit is an experience you won't soon forget. The views from the top are simply breathtaking. The surrounding area is crisscrossed with hiking trails ranging from easygoing walks to challenging climbs. You can explore indigenous forests, discover hidden waterfalls, and maybe even spot some wildlife along the way. Pig's Peak is a popular destination for climbers of all levels, with plenty of challenging routes to test your skills. After a long day of exploring, treat yourself to a stay at one of the cozy lodges or guest houses in the area. Get ready to step back in time and experience the true heart of Swazi culture in Siteki, a town located in the eastern Lubombo region of Eswatini. This is a place where ancient traditions are still very much alive and where you can witness the warmth and hospitality that the Swazi people are known for. One of the best ways to experience Siteki is to visit during one of its vibrant cultural festivals. The Umlanga Reed Dance, held annually in August or September, is a sight to behold. Thousands of young women from across Eswatini gather to dance for the Queen Mother, carrying reeds that they have cut themselves. The town is also home to the Siteki Hotel, a colonial-era gem that has hosted royalty, celebrities, and travelers from all walks of life. And if you're interested in learning more about traditional Swazi medicine, make sure to visit the Mantenga Swazi Cultural Village, located just outside Siteki. Siteki is a place to slow down, connect with the local people, and experience the true essence of Swazi hospitality. Hold on to your sweet tooth because we're heading to Big Bend, the heart of Swaziland's sugar industry. Located in the Lowveld region, Big Bend is known for its vast sugarcane plantations, its proximity to incredible wildlife reserves, and its laid-back rural charm. You can take a tour of one of the sugar mills and learn all about the process of turning sugarcane into sugar. The real draw of Big Bend lies in its proximity to some of Swaziland's best wildlife reserves. Just a stone's throw away is the Plain Royal National Park, home to the highest density of lions in Eswatini, as well as elephants, giraffes, zebras, and more. You can hop in a Jeep for a thrilling game drive, or if you're feeling adventurous, explore the park on foot with an experienced guide. Head to the Makaya Game Reserve for a more off-the-beaten-path wildlife experience dedicated to the conservation of endangered species. So whether you're a wildlife enthusiast, a history buff, or just looking for a unique and off-the-beaten-path destination, Big Bend has something for everyone. Get ready to party because we're heading to Nlangano, a vibrant town in the Shiselweni region of Eswatini that's known for its lively festivals, its friendly locals, and its authentic Swazi charm. Nlangano is a place where you can experience the true rhythm of Swazi life. The town comes alive during its many festivals, which celebrate everything from music and dance to traditional food and crafts. One of the most popular is the Simunya Cultural Festival, held annually in October. This festival brings together people from all over Eswatini to showcase their traditions, their music, and their dance. The town is also a great base for exploring the surrounding Shizalweni region. Known for its beautiful scenery, rolling hills, and traditional villages, visit the nearby Mahamba Gorge, a stunning natural wonder with cascading waterfalls and lush vegetation. Nilangano is a place to relax, soak up the local vibes, and experience the warmth and hospitality that Eswatini is known for. For our final stop, we're slowing things down and venturing off the beaten path to Halathikulu, a rural town in the western Hoho region of Eswatini. This is a place to escape the hustle and bustle of city life, to connect with nature, and to experience the true meaning of community. Platikulu is all about embracing the simple life. The town is surrounded by rolling hills, lush forests, and sparkling rivers, making it a haven for hikers, nature lovers, and anyone looking to escape the crowds. You can spend your days exploring the great outdoors, discovering hidden waterfalls, and breathing in the fresh air. 
The town is also home to a strong sense of community and you'll be welcomed with open arms by the friendly locals. One of the best ways to experience Platikulu is to visit during one of its traditional ceremonies. Platikulu is a place to disconnect from the modern world, to reconnect with nature, and to experience the true meaning of community. And there you have it, folks. The top 10 must-visit cities in Eswatini. From the bustling markets of Manzini to the tranquil beauty of Ezulwini Valley, from the royal history of Labamba to the rural charm of Platikulu, Eswatini has something to offer every type of traveler. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your Swazi adventure today. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel tips and guides. Until next time, happy travels.